à ce le contenu daily to dip into new research that are coming out that border on health in nature we keep bringing it to you but always remember to hit the button and subscribe in order to get new alert in the latest um research study this just came out uh, in may 2021 We have something that is quite profound. Maybe you are already doing it, but to give you an insight into what it is, just one, only one cup of a nutritious vegetable will cut the signs of or the idea of getting either stroke or heart attack or heart disease. Fundamentally. And substantially, in other words, they carried this research out. This research in Denmark, and it took 23 years for a total number of 50,000 people. So it is a very major observ- observational research. Now, what is important for you to know is that they targeted nitric oxide foods. And these nitric oxide foods are some of, of them you already know: spinach, Chinese cabbage, carrot, kale, and so on and so forth. What they did is very simple. For over 20 years, they gave 50,000 people one cup, that's eight ounces of cup, something as. More like this: one cup of raw spinach. Of course, to make it palatable, they were taking making a smoothie of spinach and banana, and they did it for 23 years. And here are the outcomes: number one, atheritic diseases reduced substantially by more than 26%. Coronary coronary disease reduced, cardiovascular disease generally reduced, diabetes reduced, and then importantly, and the one that will always interest you, concerns blood pressure. The systolic blood pressure reduced, and this one is actually. one of the major or number one indicator of your health either to die or to be disabled and what happened is that the systolic is the top of your blood pressure measurement they notice that those that were taking it continuously they has reduced substantially and by reducing substantially it helped them to prevent something like a stroke something like heart disease something like all part of the, in fact the major part of uh, diseases concerning cardiovascular diseases and you should know the reason why this is very important for you and for everyone of no force number one, the number of and this came out of the data released by american uh, diabetes or heart disease heart, heart association endorsed by the world health organization a total number of 3.7 billion people uh have a range of systolic blood pressure between 110 and 115 in which case only a little trigger we fly it off from 120 to 140 those who noticed that noted that 874 million people have their systolic blood pressure beyond 140 level in which case you are at a danger situation uh, most instantly definitely you consult your doctor for immediate help but beyond that what do you do for yourself that is where it matters now if you have been taking any of the nitric oxide foods what would then happen is that we we'll never reach that level 
all your life. And it's also so important for you to understand that it is not that it is not just that you have high blood pressure that is the problem, but the disease it causes. It creates a kind of metabolic diseases. In other words, this is a group of diseases diseases associated with one problem. That's what the pro why it is dangerous to have them. And significantly, it causes a lot of damage, not only to you physically, but in terms of disability. And if you can get the statistics, 18.7 million people die every year, at least 1999, the year 2020. The data for this year is only projected. And the projection may be more than 20 million people to die. But out of these 20 million people, then hear the one that is quite very uh, 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 telling. Ischemic heart disease. A total number of 110 million people have the disease. No, no. It's 197 million people have the disease already existing in the world. And this calculation may be not completely accurate in the sense that it can be more than that. Then, those that have ischemic stroke, 77 million. Those that have coronary disease, more than 100 million. And we can begin to list the number. But where the impact also, you should note, is the cost it has on families. Since 80% of those with cardiovascular diseases are completely disabled, either they have had stroke, they are constrained to make use of their bodies, they can't go to the toilets, they can't go to, to urine on their own, they cannot eat food anymore, and they are going from hospital to hospital. In other words, the entire family wealth and riches are completely damaged by a single act of illness. So, the need to prevent it is really serious. For countries as a whole, already for annually, and the projection is really getting escalating, 3.7 trillion dollars are spent by governments around the world each year in order to maintain people with disability and buy drugs for those that have cardiovascular diseases. In fact, non-communicable diseases all together summed up 3.7 trillion. And this 3.7 trillion is just for government. You have not added what individual spent in order to be well. And when you add it, it will just go very rooftop. So what do you do to take care of your body? Make sure that you add nitric oxide foods, spinach, kale, a cabbage and so on and so forth to your food. If you notice, you will find that whether we are doing egg or whether we are doing salad, whether we are doing pizza, we are now using mostly vegetables that are containing potassium, containing nitric oxide, containing magnesium in order to address key aspects of your body prevent you from having illnesses. Now you can do a pizza without having to use flour. Do not touch white flour. It is deadly. I repeat, white flour. Because the other type of flours that con still contain fiber. Once your food contains enough fiber, at least 7 gram in 100 milligram, and you will be okay. Anything less than that, you will be struggling with sugar in your body. Sugar is deadly on its own and it has so many diseases. So what you should do, and you can follow us in a lot of things we are doing. We have so many things to bring to you. There are so many juices you can take that can shred your fat. But please, it is not possible for you in just three days or seven days without doing anything other than drinking juice as people are now propagating all over the place. For you to shed the type of belly fat and body fat people are now claiming, it is not possible. But you can shed 
15 kg of fat in 3 days. You can change 20 in 7 days. But it has to be to the point where you do not eat constantly. Because the moment you eat, the, the food is broken down into glucose and other parts of uh, 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 metabolic process. And once it's broken down, then your, your body will keep on making use of sugar or glucose. Once your body keeps making use of glucose, there is no way you are going to lose body fat. The time you can do that is when you have a fasted state of at least 6, 7, 8 hours. Whereby your body glucose will deplete and your body will switch and flip into using fat as means of as, as fuel for energy. Then the combo of metabolic shedding of fat begins. That is where we are bringing in a lot of things. We are going to introduce a lot of juices, a lot of um, spices that will help you to achieve that. But you just have to know that there are so many things you have to do. Well, I will also give you another research that is important that you should know. This one also came out about April or thereabout. Research was conducted on people that have lived beyond 90 years. And I'll make it short for you. They found out that number one, it is not supplements that help them. They tested all the supplements, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin D, all of them. It had nothing to do with their longevity. They tested wine and alcohol. They find that those that drink very moderate, I, I use the word very moderate alcohol, lived healthier and longer. But those that drank more, it impacted badly on their body. They checked obesity across all ages. Obesity was damaging to them. And then they also checked relationship. And they find out one lady and the man 92, 93, that chased them for over a period of years. And one of the things they said that should also amaze you is that relationship between them involving sex, even at 90, was also very helpful in how they have lived heavily for this for that long. And if you look around the world, you will find out that all the major athletes that have changed their food and adapted better to healthy diets, all of them are still playing at the level that they played when they were 20. And they, most of them are now 30, 36, 37, and they are still better in terms of their energy and contribution. So in effect, the, your life is in your hand. It is not in just truck. It is in food because food is medicine. Please remember to subscribe, hit the button and get alerts.